We are moving the tank, supervised by Colin. How's Colin? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not driving that. Not a terrified moment at all. I am um, sorry this did like this didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to I kind of wanted it to be more like yeah I'm gonna have to do it again but we are just so fortunate that we've actually got the space to put the sheep that's not outside because it is misery misery I'll be going around the field later and I'll take you and show you how bloody horrible it actually is it's a puddle the whole field's a puddle and there's nothing I can do about it there's nothing I can do and because we've double fenced everything there's no dry little hollows for the lambs to go into and I'm absolutely mortified that we've essentially sold the government cheap land <laughs> I wonder if you add it up let's just let's just just on that thought train I wonder if you added up how much double fencing and hedgerow laying and all the rest has been done in the country and how much has been paid for it and how much that equates to per acre that's a very interesting question I will be going and finding that out this thing here just doesn't seem to want to get going um it will sit up and it's been walking around it's just a every time you stop poking it it just oh, she's about, i think she's about to laugh can you see that's the last one to do i'm telling you you see more from in here than you do in there this in here was um you know the other night on lamb cam when a spotty was born oh, i'm melting that is the cutest thing ever it was never about the breeding with them dutch spotted things it was all about the spots that's all i wanted was spotty sheep i'm not into showing breeding you know posh lambs i just wanted spotty sheep that's all i wanted i'm gonna show you something that's gonna melt your heart are you ready <laughs> It's little tongue's got spotted. Eddie ho, little lamb. This is for um, Matthew that bred the top. Matt, bleh, not Matt with the blue texel. Matthew, look at this. Look at this little, like, crazy little bald thing. It has no hair. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like a bald Furby. It's like those, what were them things called? Oh, the gremlins. It's like a gremlin. We have a gremlin. It's so ugly, it's cute. So this lamb is, um, where's she at? I think she's having a, a morsel to eat. You know stroke sheep? The, the sheep that I suspected had had a stroke. That's her lamb. Oh, she's not, she's, um, she's in the schnackerella. But yeah, that's her lamb. She seems to be doing perfectly well as a mother and um, slightly lax on the parenting side, as in I'm not going to let her out because she does just keep abandoning her very tanner lamb and going across to feed. But when she's with it, she's really good. So I'm going to pen them up 
Um, I didn't pen them up because it was only born last night and I ran out of space until right now the second. Gonna pen them up and I think I'll leave her in, in probably a bigger pen for a little while with the special cases, like tiny, tiny lamb. Um, I just don't trust that she's got the mental capacity to run around a field after a lamb, if you know what I mean. So Appleby windows and doors have put all of our doors in. They've put these in here. Really, really smart. Um, these are just to obviously go through into behind the robots. Obviously, you're walking here and robots will be here against here like this. Um, so that's done. Really, really smart. We even got a key, yeah? That was Cumbrian, wasn't it? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, uh, key, yeah. And these here are our obviously they've got a bit of dust on them. But yeah. And a window. What do you think? Look at that. Obviously the paint will be finished and the cladding will go right over. But that compressor there. Why is my phone flickering? That compressor there has got to go up there and slide through that gap. So that's why that's not on yet. But yeah, very, very snazzy, very snazzy. So we're just about to concrete this. This is the last bit of concreting for now, um, apart from under that little bit there. Last bit of concreting. And it's the second only bit of concreting that we've been able to do with the spout of the wagon. All the rest of it, every single bit of concrete that went in here was done by the mellow bucket. It has been absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, we're getting there now. We are getting there. No, it looks good actually. I'm hoping my fast mall. Like, this situation is quite dire, I must say. How? How? I'm meant to get you out of there. Stone dead. Stone dead. The weatherman. That's its mum. That one looks fair full, doesn't it? Let me just look at you. Full. Are you okay though? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? That way. There's your mum. That the other side's even bloody worse to get to. You're over there somewhere. Come here. Right. 
that there is that an opening I see do you think I can do it every time I go around the other side it just keeps scooting to the opposite side I'm gonna go around it's a long way to walk I'm gonna go around again again I'm not being funny how has this lamb got under here look at this I'm on the other side now Gently, gently, does it? Oh, you are joking. If you've gone in. Oh, you little. Oh, oh you. No. Oh, you can't. Come on now. Come on now. Me, me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll just head off back around the field. This looks really crap. I'm sorry. I have to do it again. I'll just head on back down this entire stretch of field for the fourth time. You know when Roy said, why don't you bring the quad bike while you're walking? Can I? So while I'm walking around looking at pretty sunsets, can we just take a moment to turn the mellow off because it's noisy and look at how superb of a job they have done putting the mattresses in. Despite, despite the idiots here being told to put the cubicles on beforehand and making it really, really hard work for them. And they've still done a bloody good job. So here we are a day later and half a ceiling's done, superb. But actually we're just waiting obviously for the tag to go in on Thursday and then this to be bricked up, blocked up. Sorry boys, blocked, blocked. Remember the blocks, not the bricks. It's brilliant. Honestly, it is. It's exceeded expectations and I love the slightly muted white colour. It's not as stark and, you know, clinical as I thought it was going to be. If anybody... Take a screenshot. So we're just sticking four of them on here and then the rest can go into storage. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. The rest can go into storage because that is for the, the cubicle shed that we have now and that's being refurbed. So they can all go, we'll maybe put them, even put them under there uh, or on top of the loft somewhere. Um, but yeah, they are for future use when we've got time. Oh, you snazzy. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce you to Kate. This is Kate. Um, I have known Kate for 30 years. Yes. We went to primary school Shocking. together. Primary school. We're now both really old together. <laughs> we are. We're actually really old. 
So I just want to, you know, I did the food bank at Christmas and it did really well. And we, we didn't raise loads of money. We raised loads of food, which I was really impressed with. Kate is raising money and she's raising money for a special reason that's wandering around behind us <laughs> with my mum. <laughs> Come here quick. If you look cute, they might give you some money. <laughs> snot. Yeah, yeah, we like snot. So why are you raising money, Kate? So we're raising money for Old Hay, um, the specific um, cardiac ICU unit. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because Peter, when he was born, came out this very happy, healthy little baby. And then at seven weeks old, he decided to fall off a cliff and have a cardiac arrest. And we really lost him. He spent months in um, Old Hay Hospital. Hugh, heart, heart moving pictures right now. <laughs> yeah, he spent months in Old Hay Hospital having had a cardiac arrest. Um, he spent weeks in ICU, in the paediatric ICU um, cardiac unit. So yes, we are raising money to basically say thank you for everything. Peter is one at the end of the month, which is a milestone that we did not think he was going to make. We didn't think he was going to see one. Um, I think when someone tells you that, um, what would you like to do with your child's organs, you know how, just how unwell they actually are. Um, so we just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you and give back to them because what they've done for us and what they're still doing and the care that they provide Peter is phenomenal. Um, the amount of people that we've made friends with, that we've seen, that we've joined like community with, we can't say thank you enough. So for his first birthday, he's having a bit of a party bash and instead of presents and gifts and things, we've asked people to donate to Alder Hay. And that's something we'd really like it if you could all support. So yeah, I will <laughs> stick the Just Giving below this video. If you will go and support it, that would be phenomenal. Really, really helpful. It would be amazing. We're also going to go to Ollie's and we're going to tap all of his followers for some support as well. <laughs> we Just are. because we... Um, we went and we did the tractor run for we for Alder Hay, didn't we? And we raised loads of money and loads of people support it. And I just thought it tied in well with that. And Adam as well, he's, oh, he's not there. He's disappeared talking to Roy about something. Um, <laughs> what is it? He works at Myersco. And he what does. Is he? So he is agricultural engineering lecturer. At so a Myersco lot of College. you will know or know of Myersco have been there. I should have gone there. I should have gone there. I don't know what the hell happened. I chose childcare. That's what I did. I went there. She went there and she did all right. And like, look at me. Like, I just, like, oh, look, he's stroking a lamb. Oh, she's good. Touch the lamb. That's my thumbnail there. So, yeah. In conclusion, I'll leave the just giving just below this. We're obviously taking this very seriously. It's a very serious subject. But, yeah, if you could... Literally, even a couple of quid, anything, anything you can give would be absolutely wonderful and yeah. help him get above his target, which would be amazing. We're just making sure we're not leaking. Somebody asked for updates on um, pink pegs. Pink pegs, so I've called it. How are you, pink pegs? On, stand up. How are you getting on? Uh, ish, ish, still ish, ish. Um, I think I might take them off. Well, it's moving like it's done standing on them, and it wasn't before. This is just getting hard work, and I don't know how. Where have you? Where have you just gone? How are they even getting under? Oh, yet again. I spent half an hour chasing this lamb, this big one, up and down a fence um, <laughs> with a hedge. It's actually really, believe it or not, hard work. Um, and then I reunite what I think is successfully the lamb and the sheep and she doesn't want it. She just keeps peeing off across the field. So I've had to catch her. This lamb is starved. <laughs> Like, honestly, it's sad. It's been on, like, it, it's a good sized lamb. She only likes that one. This is ridiculous, you two. Gone after proper keep an eye on these. 
aim, she'll let him on when I'm studying. But as soon as I move away, I don't know what the crack is. I'm taking executive decision to just keep an eye on him. lamb cap, that cap, that sheep's really struggling and nothing's happening so I'm just going to go and give her a hand. Hi lady. Oh lady, do you need a hand? Oh, lady Jane, come on. The race is on to get out of the bottom. Like literally the worst. Yeah. Just please stop it. Please stop it. Right, lie down now. This is getting silly. So, you can't see me. It's got a leg back. So the lamb's breathing. There, uh, look. And yet, yeah, there's only one leg and it can't fit out because of its shoulders. So I'm gonna have to try and get another leg, which is just great. With no gloves on. Stop pushing. Risk it and keep it in the heed. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. Oh, his leg's way back. It's too big to fit out. There. So can you see I've got the lamb right in now? It doesn't help she keeps pushing. And I'm gonna go hunting. Stop it! I'm gonna go hunting the other leg. No, there it is. Oh my God, that hurt. Right, stay still. Stop pushing. Oh my God, just stop it. Big bloody leg. Sorry, Llama. We're right back in now. Llama's gone right back in. I found its leg. I found its leg. And I'm pulling both legs. Right, I've got two legs. One leg, two leg, and a head. Jeez. This is not pleasant. I should be wearing my gloves. I hate big lambs. This is not good. This is not good. Not good. Right, lady. Right there. Push. Good lass. Good lass. Well done. Good lass. Well done. Right, give it time. Give it time. Good morning, how are you? Hey. Good lamb. Good squeeze. Good squeeze. Jeez, man. Oh, you're a fair beastie, aren't you, hey? Oh, we don't want many like you. Come on. Please, come on. You go in. You go in. Come on, because your brother's coming now. Come on. You go in. Good lamb, good lamb. Ready? Straw. 
That was too big, man. Too big. Not impressive. Not impressive at all. She's one of the sheep that's been in the longest and she's just been like absolutely gorging on silage. And it's just my big lambs. Um, it just is what it is. But it's not good and it's not big and it's not clever. <sighs> Going on, put it on a farmer's weekly, bloody. Look how big my lamb is. I'm joking, I'm not doing that, I'm joking. So tonight's video has been really, really random. We've gone from concreting, tanks, and then charity. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Love you long time, and I'll see you next time.